in Madison County. We're gonna stop at the Visitor Center Chamber of Commerce. Looks like this is it right here. We're parking 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. That means we're good, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the covered bridge tour here in Madison County. We're starting out at the city park and they have the Cutler Donahue Bridge. Looks like it was built in 1870. So we're gonna take a walk through it. Pretty much all the covered bridges you can't drive through except for one, so just kind of get out and check them out. Pretty much all these bridges have been renovated, but the overall uh, structure is original. So it's just neat to be in something so old. Alright, so we're moving on to the next couple bridges. We get to take this cool dirt road. This is actually turning out to be a really fun uh, day trip. Just kind of exploring to get out in the van. I haven't been driving the van much, so I kind of feel like I'm on the road again. It is just beautiful out here. Definitely, if anyone's in Iowa near Madison County, this is, I would recommend doing this. So, this is definitely marijuana growing here. Wild. So we're in Winterset, Iowa. It's the uh, birthplace of John Wayne. They have a little museum, but you know, I do really enjoy John Wayne's movies, but I'm not a big enough fan to pay 16 bucks to go in the museum. But we noticed this van out here and it is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Completely customized Chevy van. And uh, it's got the legend on the side there. The sweet oval windows with like engraved stagecoach and stuff sweet fenders I mean it really is a nice van check out the Duke on the back and unfortunately there's nobody here so you know it's not opened up but I'll oh, check out on the running boards the horseshoes more engraving on the glass and the the inside is all decked out in shag carpet and you probably won't be able to see it on camera but there's bullhorns hanging and it's it's set up it's got a fridge a sink and swinging saloon doors going into the back to where there might be a bed or something i so wish that this was open yeah it says there are swinging doors at the opening to the bed so there is a bed in back this is one of the sweetest van conversions i've ever seen oh i wish i could see him back Alright, so I'm just cooking up some chicken breast tenderloins. I usually buy a pack of these, there's about seven in the pack, and uh, I'll cook them all up at once and uh, save some for leftovers to make another meal out of. And then I'm going to use some tonight for uh, some chicken burritos, so we're going to see how those turn out. I'm going to get some onion sliced up here. Slice up some tomato here. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm basically gonna dice up the chicken and add onion, tomato, some salsa. I've got this canned salsa, which is pretty good. Uh, I like this in the can because it's a very small size. A lot of the jars are too big to store in my fridge. So I'll open this up, use what I'm gonna use, and the remainder of it, I usually store stuff in Ziploc bags. Like this here is some leftover refried beans. And because of my small fridge, instead of using little plastic containers to store leftovers in, I use Ziploc bags. I can press out all the air and compact it down to a really small size to store in my fridge. So I'm going to heat up these leftover refried beans with the onions, and then uh, I'll assemble the burrito with the fresh tomato and the salsa, and it should be pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to get the chicken sliced up here. Just kind of cut it up into chunks. Let's see, I'm going to be adding beans as well, so that should be plenty there. We'll use that, save that for leftovers. While I'm waiting on that tortilla to heat up in that big pan, I'm going to pull out my smaller pan. So I'll probably drop that onion in first and cook the refried beans and the onion together. Although it is convenient storing uh, leftovers like this refried beans, as far as being able to compact it, it is a little difficult to get out. I usually zip it closed, make sure it's closed, and then kind of squish everything up to the top while it's closed. And that just makes it easier to get it all out once I open the bag. So I'll just kind of squeeze it out like toothpaste. And for me, that's the best solution for storing leftovers that I've come up with as far as uh, really conserving space in the fridge. So I'll be able to toss that bag and I'm gonna kind of stir this up and heat it up. So I've got the tortilla nice and browned up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. All right, so I just wanted to show this is my little extension table that can fold down and up. So I've got it folded up. As it's getting hotter, um, I'm finding it's better to have the stove pushed over this way. And I have my door cracked over here to uh, kind of let some of the heat out. And I have my roof vent fan on to try to keep it cool in here. So I'm going to go ahead and fire the stove back up, get these onions and refried beans heated up, and then I'll assemble the burrito and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so those refried beans are pretty hot. Uh, I'm not going to cook them too long. I want the onions, the diced onions, to still be a little crunchy. I want the onions to be hot, but not softened up. I like them a little crunchy. Seems to add texture to the burrito. So I'm going to call those done. So we're going to get the tortilla out and start assembling this burrito. Okay, so I got the tortilla out. I'm going to scoop on the beans. Put the chicken in. Okay, then we're gonna go with the fresh tomato. Fresh tomato there. And then I'm just gonna take and scoop, spoon in this salsa and try to drain as much of the juice as possible so the burrito isn't real uh, messy and watery. Put that up kind of off to the side. I'm kind of draining it out here with the spoon. This is supposed to be a hot salsa, so I'm not going to use too, too much. I like spicy, but not too spicy. So I'll set that aside. This will be leftover chicken for another meal. And we'll just see if we can get this thing wrapped up. This is going to be a jumbo. Yeah. All right, so there it is. My jumbo chicken burrito with refried beans and onions, chicken, fresh tomato and a salsa should be pretty good all right so we're gonna give this behemoth burrito a try that's awesome adding the fresh onion to the refried beans is adding that te crunchy texture to it it's making it so good nice mild onion flavor and with the chicken and salsa well I think I'm gonna finish this up outside it's a nice evening out here so I'm gonna head out to the picnic table and enjoy this